today. I'd like to make sure that we're not doing that. Um, I know that I've seen a few people do it in it, including me when I was much younger. So please, let's try not to do this because we can be double hitting right now. The cue ball could be sliding up the ferrule or even we could be tearing up the felt. So let's try to work on something a little bit different. And today I'll be showing you how to drive that cue ball into the slate. So our side view is always gonna be set there at a 45 degree angle. I am showing you one of two grips. This is a darting style. I'm kind of holding it as though I'm holding a dart. I tend to see this used a lot. Top views will be showing the face of the cue ball as though I'm looking down on it. So here's our second grip. It's a side arm. It's kind of easier for me because I shoot over the ball more than getting down on my shots. And then our speed of about five to seven. And I just wanted to show you our basic break and jump cue stick uh, really quickly to show you that it doesn't matter, expensive, cheap. I'm gonna show you my side arm. Didn't hit it very hard, and then our darting grip, you can tell that I'm not going to hit it very hard as well. Our little diagram will always have our side view, the angle of the cue stick, and the pool table will be our flat plane. And then you will see from the top view how low I'm kind of hitting on the face of that cue ball. And here we go with the standard, my Sneaky Pete Cubler. It's just got Milkmaster medium hard tip on there. I have about 18 inches in between the gap. And I just hit a little above center because I typically like to hit those with some follow, get that cue ball to move around. And then the next shot I'm going to be showing you, we're going to hit a little bit lower and we're going to raise the cue ball up just a few inches. We're going to come down on that cue ball and make sure we're driving it into the pool table. and then you see how it stopped. And then I'll just show you real quickly. That's my Sneaky Pete Hubler. Little cheap tip, but still all works all the same. Now here we are set up a little bit closer to our object balls. Um, you can tell I'm a little higher than that 45 degree angle. I'm aiming a little bit lower on the cue ball from the top view. And I'm definitely hitting with about a 6 to a 7 speed on that. And now we're going to be moving the cue ball just a little bit closer. That's about a one ball gap in between. And I'm hitting with extreme low from our top view as though I'm putting a lot of backspin on there. And that's how that cue ball is going to be able to get up a lot quicker. So as you can tell, I barely missed those. So I'm pretty good at just doing about a one ball gap. I wouldn't try to do anything closer. And here's our top view. You can see the dot. And that's how low I need to be hitting it. And my cue stick or my jump cue is inclined at least 65 to 70 degree angle. And you'll be able to see the cue ball spinning out with the backspin for how low I hit that on the face. Remember, no scooping under the cue ball. We are driving the cue ball into the slate of the table, giving the cue ball nowhere to go except up. If you learned anything, hit subscribe. I got more stuff coming up. Thank you.